around so um, I treated myself and bought myself a compressor now as you know that <laughs> I've been using this and you know sometimes it's not enough and you have to keep pumping it to keep my engines going and I thought you know what just buy one because at the end of the day uh, I have got quite a few engines now so I need to play with them sometimes so yeah um, this is a German make as far as I know it's uh, uh, Iron Hell I think it's called uh, might, might be wrong with the pronunciation it's 24 litre 1.6 uh, horsepower and it's supposed to be oil free so yeah I'm unboxing it I'm going to have a look at it I'm quite excited about it and uh, let's do it I suppose I've got it on, on my set at the moment, but obviously I'm going to lower it down to the floor once I've opened it. I'm not sure if they have accessories in here. Um, I did ask them. This is the long sell the accessories, but we've got this, whatever that is. Um, okay. Oh yeah, these are the wheels, I suppose. It goes on wheels. Okay, let me just take it out, guys. Well, it was a bit of a game to take it out of the box, but I've done it. Um, pretty much fit it tightly in. I had looked at other compressors, and there was another one which was smaller than this, but my mate insisted that this is the one I need. I'm sure I don't need all the power to run my engines, but that's all I'm going to do with these. The reason I bought it, when the lady showed me the box, but I told her I don't want a big one, so I lifted the box up and it was pretty light, so I thought, yeah, if I can lift it up, it should be all right. I don't think they have any washers with this, just uh, it's a simple uh, fit it on kind of thing. The tank is quite big for, for what I needed, but it's if liftable. I'll get a spanner later and tighten it up and I know what this is now which I thought what's this this has to go this has to go there on this side just there Okay, I've tightened these up off camera. This is tight, and this is to let the obviously the air out. It's a shame that they haven't supplied anything to go at the end of this here and to use it, but um, yeah.
so that's it guys it's uh, pretty it's just to roll roll it along like this to the house uh, it's easy to lift up as well it's not that heavy on off switch you've got the gauge there So here we are guys, um, I bought this as it is now, so um, I don't know if you know, but this doesn't look like very good ceiling here, very not. garden fence now I suppose <laughs> I don't do engines big enough to use this spray oh this this is good this is good I'll probably be using this one because you can just switch on and off here and you've got the lead the main main thing that goes into your compressor I've got another one. To be honest with you guys, I'm not sure uh, what is used for what, but I'll figure it out. Ah, look at this. No idea what you use this for, but it looks good. And you got this. So that goes on top of there, I suppose. Looks nice, enough for what I want to do, quite, quite a lot of air there, perfect. Now time to test the engines. So I've got this uh, connected to the tire pressure gauge in here and uh, I'm going to see if I can adapt this to, to for my engines there. So you can see it's working, it's working quite well. So you can see it's working quite well. So guys I've just hooked it onto the lead here, just straight on like that. Um, nothing, nothing in it. You can tell uh, how much pressure you're putting in there. Also depends on the leak here. Yeah, I have to adapt this somehow so the leak is not that crazy. The 
this is one of my decent engines. Thank you. 